Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball Card Breaks. Today we have another edition of Time Travel Tuesday. Uh, we will be opening two packs of 1982 Fleer baseball cards, two wax packs. See here in this envelope, I ordered them off of Mercari from Gary Nation. Thank you, Gary. I got a good deal on these. I paid about uh, $10 a pack for these. Um, uh, I had like a, some discounts on there too. So ultimately, it didn't actually cost me a dime, but uh, but basically it broke down to like $10 a pack. So let's see what we have here. Uh, if you follow my channel, oh, thank you. There we go. Thank you. We hope you enjoy Father and Son. That's nice. Um, yeah, uh, I was going to say that uh, we, on our channel, we are actually playing a 1982 Detroit Tigers season replay using a baseball simulation called uh, Baseball uh, Mogul 2021. So we're playing the 1982 season right now, and what I do is I incorporate uh, Topps, Flair, and Donruss baseball cards uh, into the gameplay to kind of add a little bit of a sense of what the players looked like during that season. And so here we go. Here's our two packs of cards. As you can see, there's 15 cards uh, per pack and a sticker in there for each pack. Uh, originally, Flair and Donruss both uh, in 1981 um, had gum in their packs, much like uh, Topps does. But Top sued them, uh, saying, hey, this is our thing. And so Donruss decided to put puzzles in their packs. And Flair added logo stickers, which I'm fairly certain uh, are no longer uh, sticky. But um, we are looking for, the big card that we're going to be looking for today is the Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card. It goes for, um, according to Beckett Price Guide, you know, $40.00. Um, for a card in raw condition. Uh, I could not find any prices for a PSA 10 graded um, Gem Mint 10 card, but a 9 is going for up to $155. So if we can find ourselves a, a Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card, that will more than pay for everything uh, here. Uh, the other major rookie card in this season is uh, the Lee Smith rookie card. <clears throat> now, the Lee Smith card is um, an error card. And on the back of the Lee Smith card, as you see the Cubs sticker here, uh, it's the Cubs logo is inverted. So it's, you know, it's just backwards. And um, that is the normal version. It goes for just a few bucks. But if you get the corrected version, where the logo is... Uh, face forward like this, uh, that goes for like six to ten bucks. Um, as with most of these junk wax error cards, there's not a lot of extra value to these. Um, there are plenty of error cards with Fleer. Um, the John Littlefield uh, error card, that's the card we're gonna, that's the one card we would like to pull if we can. Um, has uh, he's on the Padres, but there's uh, some errors on the back of the card that, um, Make the card worth about 60 bucks uh, before, you know, grading. So we're looking for Ripken. We're looking for Lee Smith and maybe that John Littlefield uh, error card. So we're going to start off with Roy Smalley. Of the three different brands that put out a card this year, these are the worst. And I and I say that affectionately because I, I love these cards. Um, but... Like, uh, it's like they're underexposed, they're dark, they're blurry, um, not great photographs. Uh, it looks like they rushed, like, let's just get, I mean, he's just holding a glove out. There's no action shots for the most part. I mean, here's Ed Farmer, uh, former Detroit Tiger pitcher, uh, the pitcher that, um, who did he hit, uh, started the big brawl, uh, Ed Farmer hit, was it Enos Cabell? And, um, and, uh, yeah. So, I mean, look, he's not, I mean, again, these are all, uh, sitting in the dugout during spring training. This is a cool card. A Yankee powerhouse with Reggie Jackson, Dave Winfield, a couple Hall of Famers. 
It's a nice looking card. Oh, this is awesome. Gosh, I, I love this card. This is uh, from the 1981 All-Star Game, which was in Cleveland, Ohio. And again, I'm uh, I'm playing the um, uh, the uh, season replays for the Tigers. It started in 1980. And in 81, of course, it was a strike-shortened season. Uh, so they ended up playing the All-Star Game, uh, the first game back from... Um, from the break from um, and so they actually decided to play a stratomatic baseball game using the scoreboard to keep score. Uh, it's actually a pretty good story. You can find that. Um, I'm sure if you Google stratomatic all-star game, 1981, you'll come up with that. Uh, so here's Rupert Jones, another former Detroit tiger played for our 1984 world series team. Willie Wilson, part of the uh, great Kansas city Royals teams, an elite stolen base guy, and another Royals uh, player, Willie Willie Mays Akins. His middle name is Mays. Larry Bradford, pitcher for the Braves. I mean, these are crisp. I mean, the corners are great. Um, a little off center, right to left. Um, otherwise, pretty sharp. I mean, if we could pull a Ripken, uh, we will be uh, maybe pretty close to a 9 or a 10. This one is perfect. Look how well-centered that Joe Nolan card is. Uh, corners are excellent. Uh, that's the wrong Oriole. That's Kenny Singleton, now the announcer for the Orioles. Don Cooper, we see a lot of him in um, my uh, season replay. This is his rookie card. Of course, he's probably most famous for being the um, uh, pitching coach. For, for many, many years for the White Sox. Uh, we got the Bull, Greg Luzinski, speaking of the White Sox. Outfielder, DH. Gary Ward, solid hitter for the Twins during this era. Two cards to go in this pack. Tom Griffin, pitcher for the Giants. And the last card in pack number one is Dave McKay. Uh, longtime first base coach for the Cardinals on um, the staff of uh, Tony La Russa. So, okay, very cool. Well, one pack down. And uh, so far, no luck with the uh, Cal Ripken Jr. or the Lee Smith. Now, I already have a Lee Smith in my collection. So I'm not really all that, um, you know, I don't really need a, another Lee Smith card. He is a Hall of Famer. Um, so that's always nice, but uh, yeah, the Ripken would be so sweet. There we go. We have a, a New York Yankees logo card. It's a hat card. It's not really the logo. It's um, their baseball cap. Looks pretty sweet. Puzzle on back. Let's take a look. Well, what was the puzzle for this year? Can you even tell? Uh, I can't tell. Who cares? It's just a puzzle. Uh, we have Ken Wrights for the Cubs, passed away earlier this year. Solid uh, defensive third baseman, mostly for the Cardinals. Carney Lansford, this is coming off the year that he won the um, batting title for the Red Sox. That was um, you know during the 1981 season that he won. Michael Jack Schmidt turned 72 years old yesterday. That's a great Hall of Famer. That's our best card so far, that and the Reggie Jackson, uh, Dave Winfield card, but... 72 years young yesterday. Silver Fox. Um, let's take a look here. We have a checklist card. Um, you know, like most of my checklists when I was old. I was 11 years old when these came out. I mean, they were all had little check marks in it. This is of the Rangers and the White Sox. Take a look and see who um, are on those teams. The Sox and the Rangers. Anybody worth mentioning? Not really. Mark Wagner. He's on my 1982 Detroit Tigers team. Okay, then we have Bobby Brown, B to the Brown. Oh, my God, we got it. Holy crap, folks. Look at that card. Oh, man, it is off a little bit. Right to left. Oh my gosh, I you know what? I totally did not think we would be getting one. So I don't even have my um one touch or my um or my uh I have them right here. Okay, hold on one second. 
So that is the Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card. Holy cow, we got it. Let's uh, put these down and everybody back away. Don't breathe on it. Let me grab a um, grab one of these um, penny sleeves. Um, if you can see here on the on the corner, on the on the on the edge, you can see it's a little bit rough there. They don't actually take off for that. Um, they consider that to be part of the natural cutting process. Everything was so primitive back in these days that. Um, you know that they're not gonna. They don't. They don't ding you for that. But they will ding us for it being off right to left. That is maybe gonna bring it down to a nine. But um, the corners are exceptional. Uh, let's take a look at the back of the card. Major league batting average of one twenty eight. Who would have thunk it? Actually, uh, Earl Weaver did. Earl Weaver. Uh, it was between Cal Ripken Jr. and Bobby Bonner, another shortstop. And Bonner was the um, the one that was really thought to take over the position from Mark Belanger uh, for the Orioles. But it was Earl Weaver that said that Cal Ripken, long-term, would be the better option at shortstop. And uh, he was right. Cal Ripken Jr., absolutely. My, one of my heroes. I mean, definitely in the top my top five favorite players of all time. Um, let me just take one more look over here and see if I have a uh, top loader. Darn it, I do not. So, nonetheless, we're going to take that and put that right over here. And I'll get that sleeved up properly after we are done here. So, very cool. I mean, that is, I mean, how much better can you get than that? We got Michael Jack Schmidt. We got Cal Ripken Jr. We got Reggie and Dave Winfield. This is uh, unbelievable. I, that's my best hit that I've had in a long time. Okay, well, Dave Engel, what a letdown you are. This uh, former, a uh, future Detroit Tiger, he caught for us for a few years. Lamar Hoyt, Cy Young Award winner, um, had a, some serious drug issues in his career and eventually cost him uh, a good portion of his career. Uh, but Cy Young Award winner for sure. Yay, another checklist. At this point, I'll, I don't care if they're all checklists. We've got the Mariners. We've got the Mets. There's Dave Kingman on there. Lee Mazzilli. Bob Baylor. Mookie. Going back over here, we have uh, the Mariners once again. So Then we have Steve Braun of the Cardinals. Luis Salazar, third baseman and, again, future Detroit Tiger. Steve Mura of the Padres. Dave Chalk of the Kansas City Royals. we got two cards left, another checklist. Normally this would piss me off. I mean, how dare they put three checklists in one pack of 15 cards. So we have the Twins and we have the Padres. There's that John Littlefield right there, number 576. But we did not get that. We're going to finish it up with a speedster all-star Davey Lopes of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Good second baseman. Really great speed. Take a look at his stolen bases there. 418 career stolen bases at this point. But nice. thanks for showing up, Davey Lopes. But you're, these are the guys we're talking about here. I'm super excited to have actually really pulled a Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card out of these two packs, that is amazing. Um, this card might show up available for sale on my Mercari site. You'll find that in the description below. You may want to check out see if I make this available. I'm sure I'll make it available for a fair price if I do that. But this is probably a $155 card graded, at least a 9. I don't think it's a 10, but um, you never know. That's the great thing about uh, getting cards graded. Pulled right from the pack, pack fresh. And uh, super excited. That's the best pull I've had in a long time. So, uh, and, and taking a backseat to Cal Ripken is uh, Mike Schmidt. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, we're going to come back next week with some more card breaks. Until then, everyone, have a great day.